an iMac in the bedroom, like, oh, and a laptop, oh, really and video I games, do. and of and course the internet to explore the world without time. leaving the comfort of home. How many hours a day am I in front of my computer screen or just any screen? Oh, uh, probably at least six hours. <laughs> It's a big concern for many parents, but for Hank and Debbie Hood of Qualicum Beach, the list of pros is longer than the list of cons. But we w might watch him very closely from the time that he's had a computer, yeah. three years of age. So we are always in there, parental controls, and always popping by just to make sure to see what your kids are up to. Mm -hmm. You can't just leave them in there and close the door for eight hours and hope everything's all yeah. right. They'll, they'll get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but their son, 16-year-old Harrison, hasn't found trouble. He found a career. Right now I have over a hundred videos on YouTube. I have Finding Stuff Out, which is a kids TV series. I have done Diary of a Wimpy Kid a couple years ago. I've been on Untold Stories of the ER and I've done a Nickelodeon uh, movie that was on TV called uh, A Fairly Odd Movie and it was the live action version of their uh, animated series. Harrison has more than a million hits on his YouTube channel. Here at Shaw TV, Central Vancouver Island, we're still looking to break that half a million mark. So this is like what I mainly use here. I shoot a lot of it myself with either a tripod or something, but when I do need somebody, I always like recruit my friends or I, I try to get my mom to film, which actually can be a really big pain sometimes because I have to make sure she gets the shot that I want and stuff if she's with me. And yeah, so I try to get my friends to do it if I can, but sometimes they're all busy doing other things. And Why don't you think your mom can get the shot for you? I don't know, technology and parents. <laughs> it was actually his channel, Turnip Time, on YouTube, and the fact that he plays piano that helped him get the host role on Finding Stuff Out, an educational kids show on TVO in Ontario. He's kind of a star there. We figured he could handle doing the camera on this shoot. Okay. Parents, hey, the parental I, I unit, so action. I don't know who's having more fun, <laughs> me or Harrison. <laughs> I think the show's, like the Finding Stuff Out show's been a really good opportunity for him and me because he, he's done more in two summers than some kids do over a lifetime. Like I said, he got to do hot air balloon rides. They made him into an old man. He just gets to see a lot of different things. So not only like is he working, he's learning too. So it's, we're both learning stuff that we never knew before. So it's kind of like educational. Well, it's educational programming, so that's actually a plus, right? Harrison begged his parents for acting lessons when he was eight. By the time he was 10, his parents were taking him over to Vancouver once a week for classes. Yeah, it is definitely true. Well, I just, yeah, hey, I love him dearly and everything that he does is just absolutely fascinating. I live vicariously through Harrison. And I just, I'm his biggest fan, I'm his biggest, biggest promoter. Harrison looks young for his age, and he's good with that. Actors often play younger than they are roles. He auditions a lot, takes the rejections well, and plans to make it big. How big is big? How big can big go? <laughs> Justin Bieber? <laughs> but there are backup plans. If the showbiz career doesn't work out, he wants to be a lawyer. But he'd keep doing the YouTube stuff. And when this story hits YouTube, he knows what soundtrack should go with it. I think it would be heavy metal. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Like, like just head, head banging heavy metal, for sure. Season two of Finding Stuff Out airs later this year on TVO Kids in Toronto and in other international markets. And who knows, maybe having Harrison Hood on our YouTube channel will help push us past the one million hits mark. In Qualicum Beach, I'm Kate Bergen.